back to Nara Fishing, everybody. And today we are heading to, well, anywhere really. I'm on the way to work and I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to make this video, but I haven't caught a fish in over a week since we went fishing last Sunday and I'm itching. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop at the place where we always catch bass. I'm not gonna be targeting bass this morning. I'm probably just gonna have the, uh, whatever's already tied on the GoPro on the, the uh, roto and we're gonna start with that so whatever's on there is what we're gonna fish with maybe I might change it but I'm gonna start with whatever's on there cuz I'm very we're probably only gonna be able to fish 15 20 minutes where we have to stop but we gonna give it a shot so uh, yeah I'll see y'all at the water hopefully all right guys we're getting down to the water now I said I wasn't gonna target bass but uh, I think I might have to because the first fly I have tied on here is like a crystal wooly bugger kind of style so we're gonna keep that on for now i mean bluegills might go after it too but the water's super calm this morning aside from a duck doing his business over there but uh yeah hopefully we can get some, some bubbles over there hopefully we can get something going i don't if we do hook a big bass out here today we might be in trouble because normally I, when I come to this pond, I put on 12 or 10 pound test line. And I think I'd use this at the swamp and I'm pretty sure I put on uh, eight pound test instead. So if we get something really big, there's a good chance it might break us off. But um, like I said, I'm not really out here targeting bass. So if we get broken off with this fly, it just means early early change which is fine my line being tangled is not so let's go ahead and get this started see if we can get some some fish down We got a little bluegill or a little bass. Little bass. Little little bass. Got us a little guy this morning. Cute little guy. We're gonna let him go. Not exactly what I'm after today, but I'll take it. targeting anything to be honest I just wanted to catch a fish mission done Got another something here, guys. Feels like another bass. Yep. Nice little jump on him, too. He must be hooked good if he didn't come off. Come on. I'm gonna tire him out a little bit. And he's in the grass. Of course he's in the grass. All right. Another nice size little bass. Not too big, but uh, definitely a cute little guy. We're uh, gonna release him over this way. A little squishy. Gonna let this little guy go. And we're gonna get back to it. Well, that's two bass now and I know uh, I just kind of realized I haven't really shown this fly I thought I'd shown it in last week's video but then I remembered I didn't put that little bit 
that I use it in on camera. So what we're fishing with today is actually just something I had thought of one day, like way back in the day when I first started tying flies. I just took some like UV kind of dubbing, not dubbing, but um, it's like this, it looks like that, but I just wrapped it around a hook, put some red shiny hackle stuff on the front and that's what we're using. Super simple, but it's working pretty good so far. Bass just jumped out the water over there. Literally just jumped out of the water. I'm not sure if I got that on camera. Hope I did. These bass definitely eat bugs. They're definitely not a super uh, minnow heavy bass population. Very tempted to put on a. There's a whole bunch of noise going on back here. Let's see if we can get back to it before it all stops. There's a bunch of yellow jackets in here. Another reason. Now we've seen splashes here. We're gonna fish. We've seen a splash here. We've seen a splash over there, and on the other side of this little ramp here. So we're gonna fish. We just spooked one. I was gonna say we're gonna fish all three spots we've seen all these splashes at. Oh, of course we get snagged. Right when we get to the prime spot, we get snagged in a bush. Man, they're freaking, they're chasing dragonflies. That was cool. I watched him run under the water for a dragonfly. But hopefully they're okay with what I'm offering too. Which just promotes my theory of they're definitely a um, insect hungry or they're, they eat a lot of bugs as opposed to a lot of minnows. Something's coming after. I see the, f the water. It's a little guy. Maybe not. He looked little. Oh yeah, he's little. Just fight. I told you they're over here. There's one. That was that one spot we saw one jump out the water. Now we're gonna go we watch them chase the dragonfly. Let's see how that goes. Or maybe see look jumping for dragonflies over there. We've gotta to try to get this thing over there, Adam. Cause if we can get this in the water, I can almost guarantee he's gonna go for it because he's so fired up at any sign of movement trying to get this stuff at the top of the water. Of course I'm stuck in a bush which probably just frayed my line so hopefully we don't get hopefully he's not too big. We're gonna do one more cast here and make sure there's not just a couple stacked up over here. That and I really wanted to wash my fly off. So it's nice and clean. We land it in this other bass's strike zone. Now because their eyes are up, I don't want to get too close because he probably will see me. Oh, sorry little dude. He's 
not a bass, but just as aggressive, and he choked it too. Look, he completely swallowed that whole fly. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this out. Oh, like that. Cute little guy. Oh, oh no, 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 come here. Come here. Still nice and fired up. Cute little guy. We're gonna let him go. Over here. A little stunned. These things are fine. Now, I'm not gonna call this spot over because that was not. I don't think that's what I saw chasing the, uh, whatchamacallit, dragonflies. But. Hmm. Not sure what this is. Look like a look like a big bluegill or something. But it could be a bass. I'm trying to get over here to where I can land him. Yeah, it's a little bass. See if we can get him over this way. Alright. Cute little guy. We we're gonna put him back on the side he was on. There you go, dude. <laughs> Alright, we'll do another cast over that way, then we'll fish that side. Maybe we'll go ahead and fish this side since we made a bunch of noise on that side. Not the cast I wanted, but we'll leave it for now. Bluegill, the target species of the day. Nice size bluegill too. Nice size. What is up with me today? I can't hold on to fish. Oh, come here. Ah. Nice size little bluegill, guys. We're going to let him go as well. Let me get this back out there. So now we are currently doing pretty good. All about falling in the water. Little bluegill bit the tail there. Little nibble. Can't tell if it's a bass or a bluegill. It's a bass. Sorry the video just kind of cut out on that last hookup there, guys. I ran out of battery and I only brought one battery with me because I only had a few minutes to fish. So, yeah, but I ended up catching three more on the way out. And uh, if I can figure it out, I'll put the photos of them in the video. Um, I'll go ahead and put them up on the screen now. If I can't figure it out, Sorry, I, I, I'm not tech savvy, but I promise you. <laughs> Don't let my YouTube videos make you think that I'm tech savvy, because I am not. I just, who is this? Look at that pond over there. Mm, maybe I'll check that out sometime. Um, I 
do not really I have no prior technical experience other than like school computer kind of stuff before this and uh yeah so but I'll try to figure it out if not I will have them on my Instagram which is linked below so if you do really want to see them and I can't figure it out then that's where they'll be but yeah thanks for watching um don't forget to like comment share subscribe but uh most importantly take it easy